here uh, today to just give you some updates on what we're, we've been trying to do in Clark. I want to focus on Clark. I want to focus on infrastructure. And I want to focus on the things that we've completed, we're still doing, and the things that are going to be happening in the very near future. Okay. Um, so when we started Build, Build, Build way back in 2016, BCDA committed on focusing most of its energy in developing Clark. Uh, as you know, Clark, the former U.S. airbase, uh, left uh, to us in 1991, was always envisioned to be a major hub for logistics, for uh, and other uh, sectors of the economy. And what we tried to do these last uh, years under the Build, Build, Build program of the Duterte administration is really develop the infrastructure that is already in Clark and develop it in a way that will attract more industries and more businesses to locate and also to move out of Metro Manila and uh, move into Clark. So we had two major projects. The first was the major expansion of the Clark International Airport by building a world-class brand new terminal. And the second was to continue the project of the previous government, which was which we now call New Clark City. So I just want to walk you through very briefly with this video what the vision of Clark is under the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build. Let's look at this short video. Clark is a city built as living proof that business in this part of the world is not only easy, but simply better. This is a city with limitless ambition, built for business and built for people so that life is always well lived. This is Clark. So we envision Clark as a brand new metropolis that will allow not only businesses in this part of the country to thrive, but also serve as a major hub throughout the world. So, and this is major, this is driven primarily by the development of Clark International Airport. So as you can see, the plans for Clark International Airport started um, when the president took office in 2016. We were able to very quickly have this approved by the approving agencies of NEDA uh, and the Department of Finance. And in 2018, we started construction. And we're very proud to say that next month, we will be opening this new gateway in and out of the Philippines for the entire world. And we will be opening a new terminal, world-class run by Phil Invest, Robinsons, Pags, and most importantly, run by the Changi Airports Group, the operator of the number one airport in the world, Changi Airports of Singapore. And this was built by Megawide GMR uh, in record time. They built this in uh, less than three years. It's a 110,000 square meter airport capable of more than 10 million passengers per year. And this is really what's going to drive the development, not only in, not only in Clark, but in the entire region north of Metro Manila. So as you can see, it's almost done. Uh, these photos were taken, uh, I think, two months ago. And right now, we're very, very happy and confident that we're going to be able to inaugurate this airport in June. Because of the development of the Clark International Airport, we were able to attract a major logistics locator back to the Philippines. FedEx has already built its new, brand new facility that will serve as a hub for the region. And hopefully by the third quarter of this year, this brand new hub that you can see on the screen will be open uh, to service not only the major locators in Clark, but the entire country. A major part of the investments, not only in Clark, but also in Subic Bay, is the Subic Clark 
Subic Carta La Expressway or NCTEX, which is now expanded all the way to TPLEX, all the way going up to Baguio and even going as far as La Union. The Department of Transportation uh, under Secretary Artugade has already started the construction of the North-South Commuter Railway that will come from Calamba, Laguna, uh, pass through the districts, various districts in Metro Manila like Taguig, Makati, Quezon City, Manila, all the way to Clark. Um, and DOTR said we will have some partial operation by 2022, but the entire line from Manila to Clark International Airport will be done by 2024 or early 2025, and it will allow for less than an hour travel from Metro Manila to Clark. Of course, there will be a new Subicar cargo railway, which will serve as the first phase of the freight railway system throughout Luzon. And this hopefully uh, will not be completed by 2022. Sorry. Uh, this is, uh, it will start by uh, late this year to be completed maybe by 2024 and 2025. Of course, we have the Clark BRT system that's already here in Clark to provide more mass transportation uh, throughout the three-port zone. So many projects going on in Clark, but of course, um, what BCDA has begun is really probably its most ambitious project yet. And this is to create a brand new greenfield city uh, that will rival in our opinion, the best cities in the world because of the amount of planning and the infrastructure that has been designed for this city together with our partners from Japan, Singapore, and other countries. So New Clark City is envisioned to be the country's new growth area and an alternative to Metro Manila. And just to show you a very short video of what we have built so far in just two years. So just to give you some updates on New Clark City, um, we are working with the best partners in the world. Um, our planners are led by AECOM, by Sorbana Jerome, by, of course, our major partner, the Japan Overseas Network for Transport and Development, Nippon Koi, uh, our locators, Phil Invest, JG Summit, um, Changi, Pags, Megawai GMR, MTD of Malaysia, and for utilities, we have, again, the best in the world, Miralco Marubeni, Kansai Power, and Chubu Electric, and, of course, Prime Water and Tahal Group for our water supply. And right now, we are full speed ahead, despite the challenges of the pandemic, to attract government offices to relocate to Clark. And these are the, we have a major hospital in Clark, the UPPJH Polyclinic. We have a river park, which is going to be even expanded further with the help of a grant from the British government and our major locators from government, beginning with the Central Bank of the Philippines, the Banco Central of Filipinas, who will be moving uh, its currency and mint production facility to Clark from East Avenue in Quezon City into a world-class 30-hectare facility uh, that will house our currency production our minting facility, our uh, central bank data facility, and other facilities uh, of the central bank. This will also be followed by the Supreme Court. They will be building their first regional judicial center in roughly six hectares in New Clark City. We have also signed a memorandum of agreement with the Department of Agriculture to build a agro-industrial and uh, National Seed Technology Park in 30 hectares in New Clark City. This is very, very exciting given the various food security issues that have come up this past year. We will also have very important for building on the success of the Sea Games and the world-class facilities that have already been built. We will be starting uh, the construction of the National Academy of Sports within the next few weeks, in fact. 
um, and this will open by next year. No, uh, hopefully when COVID is behind us, we will have the first um, students in the National Academy of Sports in New Clark City by next school year. We will also build as a response to the pandemic, the first Virology Science and Technology Institute of the Philippines in New Clark City by the Department of uh, Science and Technology. This has already been approved by the National Economic Development Authority as a major flagship project. And this will serve as a major research institute to help us address pandemics that may come in the future. The National Bureau of Investigation has already signed a memorandum uh, of understanding to build on roughly 30,000 square meters in uh, a brand new building in New Clark City. And there are so many other government agencies that are coming in. But of course, apart from the government agencies, we have major private sector locators beginning with Philinvest that is already in the final stages of its development for the first phase of its 288 mixed use industrial park. 100 hectares will start accepting locators by the third or fourth quarter of 2021. We have also um, attracted major brands in the tourism and leisure sector. Despite the challenges of COVID-19, these will start construction, if not late this year, early next year. And the first Banyan Tree in partnership with WIDAS, a Korean group that is already operating the WIDAS Hotel and the Marriott Hotel in Clark, will be building a world-class ultra-luxury mountain resort with Banyan Tree and Amsana Resorts on 450 hectares of beautiful mountain uh, space in the mountains in New Clark City. And already under construction, a sky blue golf club and resort on 250 hectares. This is already under construction. And hopefully by 2021, uh, we will already be opening this world-class golf club and resort and uh, to be enjoyed by everyone here uh, and also the major locators in Clark as well as the people uh, in Central and Northern Luzon. So as you can see, there are so many opportunities and despite the pandemic, where all systems go, and we're really, really excited, especially once we've um, once we've had COVID nineteen under control, and once we move past COVID nineteen and move towards recovery, we're very, very excited for the prospects in Clark, and we hope that the next administration coming in next year will continue and fast track all these developments for the benefit of all Filipinos, not just here in Central Luzon, but everywhere throughout the country. With that, thank you very much again, Richard and the Asia CEO Forum for your invitation. And please stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you very much. Okay, Vince, you have a lovely background of the Clark uh, uh, Airport behind you, but it says coming in 2021. What, what does that mean, Vince? We're opening this beautiful world-class airport oh. run by Changi Airports Group, Phil Invest, and Robinsons and Pags in right. a month. So oh. you're gonna you're gonna hopefully, Richard, we're gonna see all of you fly out of this brand new, beautiful, world-class airport when this is all done. 